Today we're going to talk about how to test an electric motor. We'll start off with a, a fairly simple motor here and our basic resistance meter. We turn the resistance meter to the lowest possible resistance scale, about there. And we've got the meter connected to the brush wires on the motor, like that. And now you can see that the resistance meter is showing about one ohm that's across the across one coil of the motor so now we're, what we're going to do is rotate the motor around do it very slowly and look for the resistance of each sec each segment of the armature you can feel the armature rotate uh, moves in small notches and you can see that each time we're getting a reading of a about just just under an ohm and so we're going to go uh, walk walk the armature all the way around rotate the armature slowly each time and let the reading settle that one's a little bit higher let's go back that's one well this time it's 0.8 so that's just the normal variation that you get between uh, it, its variations in the brush pressure onto the armature. And slowly we'll work our way all the way around. And what we're looking for is a, a, ver a, a reading there that stays around about the half to one ohm mark. And there we are, we're out of the stop. The next test to do on the motor is to check for continuity between the windings and the case. So we'll leave the one leg of the motor connected to one brush on the motor and then we'll place the other probe on the casing of the motor here. And again, we're, we're going to ro rotate the, the motor through one revolution. And we're looking for any conductivity between the case of the motor and the windings. We can do this one a little bit faster. We get that all the way around, back to start. And then no continuity detected there, so that motor is okay.